I'd like to spend today's minute talking to organizational leaders about your bereaved employees' jobs, at work, and in grief. In 1944, Dr. Eric Lindemann, Chief of Psychiatry at Massachusetts General Hospital, termed the phrase grief work when describing the processes of a griever's healing transition. For you employers, you need to know that when your newly bereaved employee is returning to face the challenges of the job, he or she should also be undergoing the physical and mental tasks of grief work, work that is no less strenuous than digging a ditch or drafting a quarterly earnings report. Now, this is not a knock, but if you haven't experienced a profound loss, you might not be aware of how much work is actually involved in moving beyond the emotional pains of grief. In fact, Today's society at large has unrealistic expectations for the transitions of grief. At work, well-wishing but misguided phrases like be strong or time heals all wounds or you'll get over this are common but can actually conflict with or retard grief work by causing the bereaved employee to hide or repress the healthy expression of grief emotions. Sometimes what we don't say can be so much more powerful than what we do. And that's the Grief in the Workplace Minute.